do you think getting into Python is an absolute must for being successful in cybersecurity? So uh, coding in general, programming, you know, all this stuff, it's not an absolute requirement, okay? So for, first of all, it's just not an absolute requirement. Um, a lot of jobs in cybersecurity, you know, governance, risk, and compliance, uh, especially the non-technical kind of jobs, they don't require any coding. With that being said, it makes you a more competitive candidate. It makes you a better professional if you know how to do it, right? Especially at the non-management level. So the, the junior, the mid, the senior level analyst or uh, cybersecurity professional, it will add value to what you can bring to the table because you can, uh, even if you're just automating some of the routine tasks and things like that, you know, that, that's huge, right? Um, <clears throat> there is always things that can be automated in departments. If you are dealing a lot with spreadsheets or, you know, files like that, you can automate moving data around and manipulating it. You can create uh, auditing scripts or, you know, scripts that look for certain configurations. Um, it just, you know, it opens so many doors if you can do it, but it's not a requirement. Um, I would, basically what I tell people is if you're going to learn any kind of programming or scripting or, you know, just from a general sense, what should you learn? I would say learn Bash. So how to script, put together scripts, things like that in Linux. Uh, and then I guess Windows also has Bash in it too, but, um, you know, so how to use the Bash shell, PowerShell, because, you know, that's the, the Windows version of it, right? So how to do scripts in both of those. Uh, Bash, you can pretty much take your scripts that you already run or your commands, throw them in a, in a script, and it's pretty easy. PowerShell is a little bit different because they have these uh, commandlets, which are more specific ways of writing some of this stuff out but it's very powerful but so learn those two bash and powershell and then python right you don't have to be an expert in any of those but if you know those three from a basic standpoint and you can create scripts and do some basic stuff uh, that is going to dramatically increase what you can ask for as a salary what um you know what you can bring to the table as an employee so yeah, so Bash, PowerShell, and uh, Python.